Hello friends, I am Dr. Himanshu Tyagi and in today's video we are going to talk about a condition that often sounds alarming when diagnosed but is actually quite common and usually non-cancerous. It's called osteochondroma. This is one of the most common types of benign bone tumors, especially in children and young adults. If you or someone in your family has recently been diagnosed with an osteochondroma, this video will help you understand what it is, how it presents and what needs to be done. Let's first understand what is osteochondroma. Osteochondroma is a benign or non-cancerous growth that develops on the surface of a bone, usually near the growth plate, the area where bones grow in children. Think of it as a bony outgrowth, like a small lump or projection covered by a cartilage cap. It commonly appears near the ends of long bones, especially around the knee or upper arm or pelvis. While it's called a tumor, it's not cancer. In most cases, it doesn't spread or behave aggressively. Osteochondroma usually appears in children, teenagers or young adults, typically between 10 and 25 years of age. It can be of two types. One, solitary or single tumor type. This is the most common type. Two, multiple known as multiple hereditary exostosis or MHE syndrome. This is a genetic condition where a person develops multiple osteochondromas throughout the skeleton. So why does it happen? The exact cause isn't always known in solitary cases. In MHE, it's due to a genetic mutation, usually inherited from a parents. It often arises during the period of bone growth and usually stops growing once the child reaches skeletal maturity. It's not caused by injury, diet or infection. And in most cases, it's discovered by chance. Now let's talk about the symptoms and presentations. In many cases, osteochondromas don't cause any symptoms at all and are found incidentally during x-rays done for some other reason. However, in some cases, symptoms may include a visible or palpable hard lump near a joint or a painless swelling near the bone or restricted joint movement if the tumor presses against tendons or muscles or pain in some cases, especially if it irritates nearby tissues or nerves. Sometimes it can cause changes in limb length or deformity in case of multiple tumors. Sometimes it can cause pressure symptoms such as tingling or numbness if it compresses a nerve or blood vessel in its neighborhood. Most children with osteochondroma remain completely active and normal in their day-to-day -day life. But any unexplained lump on a growing child's bone should be medically evaluated. Now, the most important question, when should you be concerned? Although osteochondromas are usually harmless, there are a few red flags where we recommend closer attention. The lump is growing rapidly after puberty. There is unexplained pain over the bump. The lump becomes soft or tender. There is nerve compression like numbness, tingling or muscle weakness. There is a sudden increase in size or swelling after years of no change. In very rare cases, less than 1%, an osteochondroma can transform into a malignant tumor called as chondrosarcoma. This is more common in adults with multiple hereditary exostosis. So follow up up is essential. Diagnosis is through a physical exam and imaging key investigations include X-ray, which shows a clear picture of the bony growth or a MRI, which is helpful to assess the cartilage cap and surrounding soft tissue conditions or a CT scan for better visualization of complex areas of the tumor. Sometimes a bone scan or biopsy is required to rule out cancer suspicion. MRI helps us evaluate whether the cartilage cap is too thick, which might raise suspicion of malignant change. Only if the osteochondroma is growing too fast or painful or pressing on nerves or vessels or causing any deformity or causing cosmetic deformity or interfering with joint movement, then only surgery might be required. Surgery involves excision of the tumor, which means removing the bony outgrowth along with the cartilage cap. It's usually a simple procedure. Recovery is fast, usually within a few weeks. Hospital stay is usually short, one or two days. The recurrence rate after surgery is very low, especially if the complete growth is removed. In most cases, the prognosis is excellent. Children with a single osteochondroma usually grow up without any complications. In cases of multiple hereditary exostosis or MHE, regular follow-up is necessary to monitor for growth disturbances or check for joint deformities or screen for rare malignant transformation. So please remember that 
Osteochondroma is a benign bone tumor seen in children and young adults. It is often painless and found by chance. Most cases do not require treatment. Surgery is done only if it causes pain, pressure, deformity or rapid growth. The risk of cancer is extremely low but follow-up is advised. Prognosis is very good and children live a normal active life. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helped you understand osteochondroma better. If you have any questions or would like a consultation, feel free to reach out.